Hi guys, it's a rainy, blustery day here in the world of Walt Disney. So instead of going to a theme park today, we are gonna do some fun resort hopping. So specifically because it's so rainy today, we're gonna be doing some Magic Kingdom resort hopping. So right now we're at the Polynesian, we parked here. Uh, we're gonna end the day here, I think. We're actually gonna go to the Grand Floridian first, and then the Contemporary, and then back at the Polynesian. This is the Rarotonga house. That is where I just vacationed here just about yeah. a week ago, and I miss it well, because it was so nice. What we're gonna do specifically, because we've like talked about doing it before, is we're gonna do the monorail bar crawl. So we're just gonna hit up all the bars mm -hmm. on the way. So we're gonna start at the Grand Floridian, grab a drink there, go to the Contemporary, grab a drink there, and then end at the Polynesian. And we've never gotten drinks at the other two resorts. No. We've gone to the Poly like a lot, but I mean, we're just kind of here to explore, honestly. Yeah. We're heading inside the Polynesian lobby to go upstairs to the monorail station, which is right up there. Wow, I know I was just here, but I, I really do miss it, Brennan. We gotta come back here ourselves. <laughs> I've been dying to. Maybe because it's such a rainy day today, but it's like kind of quiet, isn't it? It's kind of peaceful in here. I like it. Yeah. All right, let's go up on the monorail. We are now stopping at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, a Victorian-style hotel offering the modern conveniences of a full-service spa and health club. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold on to the handrails and stay clear of the doors until the monorail stops completely. This is Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. All right, so we just got off of the monorail. Now we're inside the Grand Floridian, which is actually pretty sparse in here as well. There's a band in there playing. Now we just need to go uh, find a bar that we can grab some drinks at, right? Yeah. So that's where we walked in right over there from uh, the monorail. This is another look at the lobby in here and we're listening to the band play over here for a second. There's a bar right over here. There's also a bar out by the pool and there's another bar that's over here by Citricos. So Citricos up there doesn't open for another hour. This used to be Meissner's right here. It's not there anymore. We tried to go to this bar right back here behind the band, but they are just opening up for the day. So what I think we're gonna do is go outside to, I guess, get a drink from the pool bar right outside, and then if they don't have anything interesting, then we'll come back inside and get something from this bar right here. So we were gonna go outside to the pool bar, but right as we passed by that bar right over there, she opened up. So we went ahead and we got a couple drinks. There's a bridal party taking pictures over there, which is really cool. So I got this right here, which is called the Grand Cocktail, which I thought was appropriate. And then Brennan got the Lemon Drop. Martini. So what comes in this is, uh, well, how about you say what comes in yours first? It's just Kettle One Vodka, uh, Corn Tro Liquor, and uh, Lemonade. Liqueur. Okay. Liqueur. <laughs> um, and then it, the Kettle One comes in this, as well as pomegranate liqueur, uh, cranberry juice, and club soda. So that's cool. These are our first couple drinks here at the Grand Floridian. I also love that at the Grand Floridian there's like a wedding party and no one's like Mm -hmm. it's just acting like it's super natural. But it's like, right now, this martini with this piano with a bridal party in the background is like the Grand Floridian mood. But do you hear the drill up in Meisner's right now? I'm trying not to. All the construction. That's weird that they have that going on while like they have a piano player and everything going on. I bet Port is shifts and he's they're just like play loud. <laughs> Maybe. So, ah, uh, did you hear that? <laughs> oh my god. What that was. I don't know, it sounded like something really heavy just fell. So we're gonna enjoy this and then be on our way to the contemporary, right? Ding! was so beautiful. It was, and he was so nice. We just started talking to him, and he's just like, what do you want to hear? And we're like... Oh. And then I asked for When You Wish Upon a Star, and he played it for us yeah. from memory, and he did such a good job. I know, it was like just a nice, beautiful, relaxing moment. Exactly. He was and, um, 
for sure. <laughs> no, I think we should go explore the pool bar because we were gonna go there, but then we decided to go to that bar back there. Yeah, so I thought like since we're doing this, why not have like a drink that represents wherever we're doing it. So I wanted to get like a nice fancy drink for the grand party. That's why I got the grand cocktail. And I got a martini. Yeah. But I wanna see what they have at the pool bar anyways. They could have the same menu, you never know. I don't know, because at the pool bar they're gonna have like lighter drinks since you're gonna be out in the sun. Alright, so we came outside and we are checking out the map right now just to kind of see. So there's a pool bar over here. Okay, and there's another pool bar right over here. So there's two pool bars. Do you think they'd have the same kind of menu and stuff? They might. This one has a grill, so this is just like drinks and food. Mm -hmm. Which one are we? We're at this one? Yeah, we're over here. Okay. So way back there is the building that I stayed at with my parents when we stayed here a few years ago. A couple years ago, I guess. That was a really nice and fun stay. We stayed on the other side of that building. Um, we're over here by the pool now, and it Usually there's like a window over here where if you're not inside the pool, you can still go up to the pool bar and grab drinks. At least that's how it is at other resorts. I don't see like a window, so we may have to like do what you're not supposed to do and kind of hang out by the gate and yeah. just wait for somebody to come out. Then you kind of duck in there because we just want to grab some water real quick and just check out the menu. Um, but we'll kind of make a lap and just kind of see if we can still get in. I don't know. We also brought an umbrella because it was very, very rainy earlier and now it's hot. Yeah. Florida. Florida. So normally you need a magic band to get into the pool areas, but I guess not over here, right? So <laughs> we are inside the pool area. They have a little thing for water right over there, and you got some water, right? Mm -hmm. Is it refreshing? Yes. Nice. And uh, I guess they have a menu too for some drinks and some food. Mm -hmm. So there's the pool over there, and this is the pool bar. I'm just checking out the menu. I could tell that I would really, really like that blueberry lemonade right there. I think we are going to stick to one drink per resort, but maybe for next time. So we're about to go to the Contemporary Resort to go get our next drink, keeping it to one drink per resort. But Brennan is showing off her hula hooping skills. I cannot hula hoop to save my life. Wait, you can't? Nope. You want to try for you? Yeah, I want to see your, your hooping skills. <laughs> this is Roy trying to <laughs> stall. reasonable hoop skills, but I can't do it around my waist. He's stalling. See, I have no idea how to do it. <laughs> Skill. This is something I'm actually very insecure about because I've tried it my whole life. Insecure? Really? Yeah. I cannot hula hoop. It's all about rhythm. Rhythm. <gasps> I'm, do <laughs> I'm doing it. Oh my. Oh my god, you guys are seeing it here for the first time. I've never ever in my life hula hooped. <laughs> you guys have seen that for the first time. Roy just hula hooped on his own and we just got it on, on my own. Like I got training wheels for my hula hooping. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh my god. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you. This is also like really, really thick. I don't know if that has anything to do with it's it. It's a professional hula hoop, guys. Really? It seems like it would be easier with this. Nah. That was so cool. I just hula hooped. I'm so proud Yay. of you. Um, I wasn't so, expecting that. I know, right? I'm impressing myself every day with new things. So I think we are going to go over to, I guess, the contemporary now, right? Mm -hmm. To kind of continue our monorail crawl. This is cool because I've never looked for a bar here at the Grand, and I've never looked for a bar at the contemporary, so this is all really new. Mm -hmm. Um, we need to go to the stairs because oh, yeah. the monorail's upstairs. All right, goodbye, Grand Floridian. And heading off to the monorail, which looks like it just got here. All right, that was lucky, but we just departed from the Grand Floridian, and we are heading way over there to the Contemporary. We have to stop at Magic Kingdom first, though. All right, we just stopped off at Magic Kingdom, so our next stop is going to be the Contemporary Resort. It's always weird stopping here and not going inside, but I don't know. It's still kind of cool to see, nonetheless. Look at all this construction out here by the train station next to Space Mountain. I know, right? Is it gonna be like wheels or is it gonna be like cookies? I think it's just like a support. There's Bay Lake Tower, which means right now we are passing into the Contemporary Resort. That never gets old. That's always so much fun to do. So there goes the monorail right there. We are inside the Contemporary and we were trying to decide what bar to go to or where to go to find a bar, and there's one right over there called the Outer Rim. You wanna go check it out? I do. I just like never thought to look for a bar here, so. Same, right? This is all right, so we made it over to the Outer Rim Bar. We have a nice seat over here by the window looking out over at Bay Lake over there. And this menu, Brennan, we've checked it out and... I love it. It has so many cool drinks. 
Like, they have these glow martinis and they're cheaper than the Grand Floridian ones that we got. Wow. So That's what you got. Yeah, so I'm getting this, this cold brew, because it comes with um, coffee liqueur, heavy cream, cold brew, Joffrey's coffee, and it looks really, really good. And then you are getting, what are you getting? You're getting this, right? Yeah, the whiskey, the whiskey breeze. breeze. Comes with some bourbon, lime juice, guava, and mango. Mmm. That looks so good. We need to come back here, Brenda, because it has just so many cool things. I like that we're, like, finding new things today. Right? I never knew that this <laughs> bar was here. All right, so there's Brennan's Whiskey Breeze, and this is my cold brew, which is kind of like a white Russian, but with coffee, I think. Yeah. So go ahead and take your, your sip there. We didn't do any reactions over at the Grand Floridian. We just kind of jumped into the drinks. Is it good? Whoa. Is that a good whoa? It is. Okay. The aftertaste is way better. That's why it took me a minute. Because the initial taste is just straight up whiskey and then it felt like college. But then the aftertaste is really refreshing and very citrusy. And it's really good. So I think this is edible. Like a little chocolate, yeah, it's like chocolate. stick or something. Yep. It tastes like a white Russian with coffee in it. <gasps> That sounds really good. That is really, really good. Very refreshing. I like it. All right, so we sat right over here overlooking Bay Lake and the pool area. And this was the Outer Rim Bar area. This is right next to Chef Mickey's, right over there in the Contempo Grill. What do you think? This might be one of my new favorite spots. Right? I loved every drink on there. It looked so good. All right, now on to the TTC and then the Polynesian. So we're about to go hop on the monorail over to the Polynesian, but they have a lot of cool Toy Story 4 merchandise over here. They have plushes of ham. Look at how cute he is. He's 20 bucks. He is $20. He's so cute. Even a plush Rex. A plush Rex. 27. $27. I would love myself a plush ham. That's adorable. Really? Yeah. Oh, your Arlo plush? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they have a Luxo Junior Ball mug over here. I love that. I love myself some mugs. This is all for Toy Story 4 that's opening up in a, like a week or so at this point. So there goes the monorail right there. And I'm going to do what I've never done before, which is exit out of the contemporary with the monorail. That was so cool. And there goes the resort monorail. That's the express monorail heading to Magic Kingdom. Uh, I guess we should go hop on that, right? To go to the TTC and then the Polynesian? Hi! That was an extra magical moment. Right? It was the two, two monorails. But we should run upstairs if we can try to catch that, right? Yeah. So on second thought, we still have to go through security, so we're probably going to miss that monorail. So we took some pictures over here in front of the neon Mickey wall, right? Yeah, I because... think about that. I don't know yet. Yeah, oh no, absolutely. It'll probably be on my Instagram before this video, so you guys tell me. Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah, this is a wall that we never take pictures with because it's always kind of like a high traffic area and we're very awkward when it comes to it's Instagram also pictures. It's nighttime whenever we come here, so the back, like the lighting is never good because mm -hmm. it's always nighttime outside, so. All right, well now we can go hop on the monorail, right? Yeah. Way down there is the outer rim bar that we went to and hey, check out that timing. There's the monorail right there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now stopping at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails and stay clear of the doors until the monorail stops completely. All right, so we made it to the Polynesian. That's our monorail right there, and it's kind of hard to tell, but that is the monorail with the Toy Story 4 overlay on it. So that was kind of cool. It was very hard to see inside, but still kind of cool, right? All right, so we made it to the Polynesian. Gonna head inside and go grab our next drink. And by the way, I'm feeling pretty good. How are you feeling? Like, these drinks haven't been really that strong or anything. They've just been more tasteful than anything. They're theme park drinks. They're a little bit weak on the alcohol, but very strong on your bank account. And there it is. So we have a couple options inside the Polynesian. There's a bar right over here by Ohana. Then there's also the bar downstairs, Trader Sam's. Then there's the Tiki Terrace. Mm -hmm. That's probably why we come here to do like alcoholic adventures because there's just a little bit more options that we're comfortable with. Yeah, and just the style of drinks that they provide are like within our realm of preferred tastes. Like Although, I don't know, the Contemporary now, that one's up there for me. very right. The Contemporary is a good bar and I'm glad that was a find that we found. <laughs> mm-hmm. So do you want to go over here or do you want to go to Tiki Terrace? What are you thinking? 
Because we've been here before, but I think only once. As far as atmosphere, I would prefer the Tiki Terrace. So I actually agree with that. I think I do want to go to the Tiki Terrace because they do have drinks right over here by the Ohana restaurant. That's the Ohana bar right over there. But I actually went over there and I checked it out. And a lot of the drinks are very similar to the contemporary. And uh, I actually talked to the woman over there, the, the bartender, and she said the drinks are stronger downstairs at the Tiki Terrace. So let's go to the Tiki Terrace. Tiki Terrace. So we're outside at the Tiki Terrace now. Hi, Vernon. Hi. So we have our menus right here in front of us. These are the same menus that Trader Sam's uses, more or less. And I'm trying to decide what to get because I've pretty much had everything here. Because I do want to get something different. Hmm. All right, so I'll think about that. We're also sitting right out here by this wonderful waterfall being serenaded by some ukulele playing. So our drinks are here. Hi, Brennan. Hi. So I decided on the Spiced Island, which comes with bourbon and pineapple, amongst other things that I'm kind of forgetting. And there, got a little lotus flower. And I've always wanted this cup. So I just went ahead and bought it. It was $5, and I got myself a souvenir cup. And then Brennan got the rum flight over there uh, with a chaser of pineapple juice. Is that right? Yeah, I like wanted to try something new, and I've never had the rum flight, but I also wanted like an islandy drink, so I just asked for some pineapple juice just because I like pineapple juice. Alright, and I'll give you the camera so you can read it off and say what it is, but I'm super excited for this, never had this before, and I finally got my cup, and we were just listening to uh, some ukulele music, and what he was just playing was from um, that one Pixar short with the uh, volcanoes, the I Lava You song. My favorite part of the Tiki Terrace of the Rock Grotto is the live music. The live music, and yeah. This that fountain, right? Yeah, I love it so much. You love it? I love it. Um, but as far as the rum that I got, so these are the different options that I have. I'll let you guys read them on your own. Um, but these are the three different ones, and this is what they correspond to. They don't give you that much, but it's three fourths ounce, I think, right? Three fourths ounce of a pour. So it's like a little, little shot. It's a little shot, but... And it was $18. Yeah, $18, but we'll see how far it goes. And this was like 14 or so? Mm hmm And this was 5 on its own. All right, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Do it. This one's the Bacardi for this first one. <laughs> it's pretty strong. I felt that in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> are you supposed to sip it or just take it as a shot? I'm sipping. All right. Bougie. Pinky's up. That one's more smooth. Really? Yeah. Woohoo! That was <laughs> the smoothest. Really? Mm -hmm. What was the middle one? Whatever that is. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting that we didn't show off our reactions over at the Grand Floridian, but we were just. So into the mood, I guess, and the piano music, and it was pretty simple as far as drinks go over there. So, cheers. Whoa, that's a little bit stronger than I thought it was going to be. Really? Yeah. I was like anticipating like a real fruity drink, but that bourbon just kind of gets it. Nice. It's good though. Okay. And it looks adorable. A little lotus cloud. All right, so we are all done with our drinks. I have my little tiki mug right here, which I'm so happy about this. I don't know why I'm like. I'm the most happy about this. Well, I like tangible. Collection. Yeah, I guess so. I just I like tangible like material things too. You know, mm -hmm. like a. This is my memory from when we uh, did some resort hopping around all the resorts. So the Tiki Terrace is right back there. Uh, we're gonna take a little stroll around Polynesian just for like a little bit because these drinks really weren't that strong. Mm -hmm. But just to be safe, you know, I want to be safe to drive and all that. So drink responsibly. Let's take a walk. Yeah, that too. So we're over here by the marina by the sea racers. I called these speed racers a couple times in my Polynesian video for some reason, which I apologize for. And Brennan is checking it out. I'm sorry you didn't get to come with us when we did this, that but- That means you and I will have to do it together. Yeah, so I was gonna say, we gotta, we gotta do this together. <laughs> so you got yourself another little drink over by 
the pool bar right over there. Yeah. I what was, is it? I was kind of joking with Roy at first that I should get another drink, but then when I went over there, I saw this infusion of, of a lime margarita mm -hmm. infused with a Dole Whip. Which is crazy. I have to get it. Is, is it good? Is it? Oh my god. It tastes like exactly that. Really? It's like a Dole Whip, but if you put like lime in it and like a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. that's exactly what it tastes like. It's yeah. actually pretty good. If you like margaritas, this is really good. Yeah, and like all these drinks aren't even that alcoholic. That's the thing. They're just kind of Disney expensive. That's but why I've had four drinks. <laughs> it's more the novelty of it, right? Yeah. So this sunset right now is one of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen at Walt Disney World. Wow. Isn't that just gorgeous? This is why we live here. Right. Like... This is why we love living where we do. Exactly. And doing what we do. I tried your drink and it tastes like sherbet and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. So I agree that that's a really, really good drink. And maybe I'll come back and get that myself someday. It's refreshing. You enjoying yourself? Yeah. Sitting on the beach, <laughs> sipping on a margarita, swinging on a swing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you've been wanting for so long. Uh. It's crazy that we started our day at the Grand Floridian, and then went all the way over to the Contemporary, and then ended our day back at the Polynesian. We should really do this more often. This was great. This is like one of like the best like not park Disney days that you can do. So what did you think of our monorail crawl today? Did you have fun? I had a great time. I thought it was really relaxing. You didn't have to worry about driving anywhere. This was your, like, this is what you wanted to do. This was your idea. Yeah, we'd have been talking about it for years. What I was, I know, right? What I was a little bit hesitant about is how they switched the bag check. Um, now you have to check your bag every time you hop on the monorail. So we did check it three times just to go around all the resorts. But it was very, it was very painless and smooth and honestly kind of convenient. So yeah. I don't know, no problems there. So that kind of like encourages me to want to do this again. Yeah, and it was relaxing. It was a cool way to like hang out at all the resorts and, and I don't know, just taking, just taking the, the sights. sights. Yeah. All right, so I think we are heading back to the car and we've already said how much fun we had today. Mm -hmm. And originally we were gonna go to theme parks, but got those summer blockouts now, right? At least you do, because you have the weekday pass. Yeah, I have the <laughs> the weekday pass. I have the low one. But it's okay. We'll get back in the park soon enough, or I'll be back at the parks doing some fun, fun stuff. But this was a pretty good alternative. I am not gonna lie. I was pretty I would surprised, and I had a love to great do this time. Again. <laughs> exactly. Um, I, I guess price-wise, all the drinks kind of averaged around fifteen dollars a drink, kind of a thing. So With tipping. Yeah. So it wasn't like the cheapest thing that you could probably do at Disney, but it's definitely something to do out of the resort or out of the theme parks, I guess, and then yeah. in the resorts. Which is why I think this monorail crawl is like a good idea because it's just three resorts, three drinks. Mm -hmm. That's like your max. And it's a thing. It's doing the monorail crawl, you know, yeah. around the Magic Kingdom resorts. It's almost like drinking around the world at Epcot, pretty much, right? Which we still haven't done. No, that's a little bit more expensive than drinking. And unless we like shared. <laughs> Drinks for 11 countries. There's, yeah. there's kind of a lot I of I want to be able to drink around the world, but there's no way I could possibly drink one drink each from every country. Mm -mm, but not gonna happen. What? Hello. <laughs> Whatever means, I would like to attempt it. Yeah, we'll do it one day for sure. But thank you guys for coming with us today. I'm watching this just drink alcohol, I guess, around the resorts of Magic Kingdom, but we <laughs> had a good time. It was a lot of fun. Now mm -hmm. we have to get some sleep because tomorrow we have a pretty magical adventure awaiting us mm -hmm. so i'm pretty excited for that right yeah all right i will see you guys tomorrow have a good night bye